Mary Jane McLeod Bethune, the daughter of former slaves, became one of the most important black educators, civil and women's rights leaders and government officials of the 20th century. Bethune was born July 10, 1875 near Maysville, South Carolina. She was one of the last of Samuel and Patsy McLeod's 17 children. After the Civil War, her mother worked for her former owner until she could buy land on which the family grew cotton. By age nine, Bethune could pick 250 pounds of cotton per day. She graduated in 1894 from the Scotia Seminary, a boarding school in North Carolina. While teaching in South Carolina, she married fellow teacher Albertus Bethune, with whom she had a son in 1899. The Bethunes moved to Palatka, Florida, but in 1904, her marriage ended. Bethune opened a boarding school, the Daytona Beach Library and Industrial School for training Negro girls. Eventually, Bethune School became a college, merging with the All Mill Cookman Institute to form Bethune Cookman College in 1929. It issued its first degrees in 1943. In 1924, she was elected president of the National Association of Colored Women's Club. In 1935, she became the founding president of the National Council of Negro Women. Bethune also played a role in the transition of black voters from the Republican Party to the Democratic Party during the Great Depression. In 1936, Bethune became the highest ranking African-American woman in government when President Roosevelt named her Director of Negro Affairs of the National Youth Administration until 1944. Mary Bethune became Vice President of the NAACP in 1940. As a member of the advisory board, she created the Women's Army Corps. Bethune ensured it was racially integrated. She regularly wrote for the leading African-American newspapers, the Pittsburgh Courier and the Chicago Defender. She co-owned a Daytona, Florida resort and co-founded the Central Life Insurance Company of Tampa. Bethune's life was celebrated with a memorial statue in Washington, D.C. in 1974 and a postage stamp in 1985. On July 13, 2022, Bethune became the first African American to be represented with a state statue in the National Hall Collection at the U.S. Capitol. Mary Jane McLeod Bethune.